car nerd. When it comes to car themed guitars, I've got a little history. So are the other master builders. If it's a car themed guitar, I'm the guy. Fender is located in Scottsdale, Arizona, and Barrett Jackson is also located there. And maybe you're familiar with the Barrett Jackson auctions that have been on TV for decades now. And I mean, I've been watching it as long as I can remember, drooling. And somehow the two formed a little collaboration here. Well, the genesis was to build a car for their 75th anniversary, our 50th, but also incorporate using our build platform to make a custom car to match a Stratocaster. All right, excellent, what's the car? A 69 Mustang Fastback. My first Mustang. Talking about this 1969 Stratocaster based off of a 1969 Mustang Fastback that Barrett Jackson is building. What are they gonna do to the car? So we gotta kinda come up with the concept because there's a couple ways of restoring a car. You can go very original, new old stock parts, essentially how it was when it rolled off the factory floor back then, or in this case, they did a resto mod or a restoration modification, which typically involves high performance parts, new suspension, engine, tricking it out a little bit, which is great because if they were going to go with the vintage correct version, then all I would be doing was building a 69 Stratocaster to match all vintage correct, which we do a lot of. But resto mod car, excellent. Now I get to kind of stretch out on the guitar a little bit, you know, break the rules a little bit and be creative. Well, good craftsmanship is something that I really wanted to show in this build project. Ron, he had some great ideas as to how they could build a guitar to match this. Guitar time, what am I gonna do? Let's incorporate the, the, the classic Mustang triple tail light look. I mean, everybody knows that. Everybody's been behind a Mustang and sees those three tail lights. These were actually 1969 side marker lenses that I machined to fit in these little chrome bezels. It's still a standard humbucker. In fact, it's our EVH humbucker that's underneath there. I put the height adjustment for the pickups on the back here, kind of keep it clean. The radio knobs on a 69 are very much like guitar knobs. The, the diameter is right. They're just a little low and they're kind of shaped a little odd. So I machined these up to look, at least from the front and the correct sort of knurling on the side to match that. The switching is via this Switchcraft 1967 new old stock switch assembly that I found in a surplus store. This controls the neck pickup. This is the neck and the bridge. That's the bridge. And then this turns the middle pickup on. So you can technically have all three going on at once. Um, the arm itself, is fashioned just like the turn signal arm. We totally matched all the curves and the details of the turn signal on the Mustang. It's got rid of the vintage six point tremolo and have a two point on there. That to me has always been a more refined bridge. Doesn't sound the same, but it's definitely a little more high performance. It stays in tune better, kind of looks a little more modernized. To help with that also Spurzel locking tuners and a graphite nut. So those are things that I wanted to kind of resto mod along the lines of the car. You're changing out the suspension and the brakes. Let's change out the tremolo and the tuners and kind of tie those things in. These are more modern components versus 60s technology per se. The fretboard radius is 12 inch, a little flatter than what would have been in 69 again to allow for a little lower action and some more stunt guitar work or stunt driving. Um, the inlay is sterling silver, 6150 medium jumbo frets, just kind of make them a little bit bigger. The big peg, this is a definite 1969 thing, so I had to keep that. Now you know this is from that era, and of course I didn't mess with the body shape at all. No pick guard to keep it clean, and then the competition stripes or the GT stripes with the classic running horse headed west. Now the serial number is RT 1969. Eventually if I get to 1,968 guitars built. I'll have to remember that I already had this one covered from way back now. The 
Jason and Tony, the, the Barrett Jackson build guys, the guys wrenching on the car. We could see there was a bond between the three of us and I respected what they were doing. In fact, I would have loved to have been involved in working on the car, of course. And I think they sensed that. So what they did was they saved the last piece for me, for when I got there. And it was the Fender F logo installed on the front grille. It wasn't much, it was only two nuts, but I still felt like I helped. <laughs> In addition to the car itself having some Fender emblems, there was a, a few other things that I wasn't expecting. One, they incorporated a Fender Deluxe amplifier into the trunk. Park, flip, open the trunk, plug in and start rocking out. That's great. And the third thing is the rear seat is a fold down. That was an option for 69, a rear fold down seat. So it looks like just a, a two seater. They folded down the seat and they built a custom stand for the guitar. So the guitar sits on display through the rear window. And it looks so cool. Again, you look at the haunch, you look at the taillights, you see the guitar through the, the rear window, all in a matching motif. It's quite the sight. It's an incredible vehicle here with a great collaboration. It's powered by the Ron in that photo, he wouldn't even believe that I'm working at Fender. That in and itself is a dream come true. And the fact that I'm building a matching Strat, a Fender, legit Fender matching Strat, to go with a car that will, I would love to own, boy. Oh, he wouldn't believe it.